Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be going over the MLB slate on DraftKings and Yahoo for Monday, July the 22nd. Um, I'm back from a little bit of a quick break, a short break. Um, I did not make any videos for like the last three or four days. I went on a short vacation with my family, so I was away from the computer and wasn't able to make videos. I did put an update on Twitter that I was going to be gone, and I also made like a little post on YouTube. Not sure if you guys saw that or not. Uh, make sure you are following me on Twitter anytime something comes up like that and I'm not able to make videos. I will for sure keep you guys updated through Twitter. Uh, you guys should be following me over there if you haven't already. My Twitter is uh, at the DFS underscore go. There's also a link down in the description to my Twitter account. Um, but we're back for Monday Slate, 11 Gamer. Going to talk DraftKings and Yahoo. Start off with pitching, work our way from top to bottom, and I'll be sure to hit on all the options that I like today. Uh, then we'll look at some hitters I like. We'll talk about some stacks that I'll be going to. And then towards the end of the video, for those of you that are interested in BVP plays, I will cover a couple BVP plays at the end of the video. Um, but before we do get started, I would appreciate it if you would drop a like on the video. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button down below so that way you won't miss out on any of my new videos. Uh, but starting off at the top on DraftKings, Garrett Cole is our most expensive option today. He's 12500 and on Yahoo, he is also our most expensive option at $59. Uh, so I think Garrett Cole is the clear-cut top pitcher on this slate. He just by far has the most strikeout upside out of any pitcher going on this slate. Like Mike Clevenger is 400 less on DraftKings. And you could argue that Clevenger's matchup is better against the Blue Jays. But Clevenger, Clevenger doesn't have the K upside that uh, Garrett Cole has. I do believe Garrett Cole has the highest strikeout rate out of every pitcher in the major leagues. That includes like... Sale, Scherzer, he has more, or he has a higher K percentage than all those guys. Uh, so even in a less than ideal matchup against Oakland, I still think Garrett Cole is the top option today. Just has so much upside. Uh, Oakland does have a lot of righties in their lineup, which is a plus for Garrett Cole. Uh, if there's one thing he struggles with, it is left-handed hitters. And the only left-handed hitters in the projected lineup are Matt Olson, Robbie Grossman, and Chris Herman. The rest of the hitters are going to be right-handed. Uh, if we look at, if we're looking for strikeouts here, we can definitely find some from. Guys like Luriano, Chris Davis, uh, Franklin Barreto, Mark Canna will strike out a little bit. Uh, and then Robbie Grossman, the lefties, Olsen, Grossman, Herman, I'm not really concerned about. I guess Matt Olsen uh, does have a little bit of power. But Robbie Grossman, Chris Herman, two guys that really aren't that good hitting-wise. So really like Cole here. He's a heavy favorite, low total for the A's at 3.4. I think Cole could easily go six, seven innings with 10 Ks and give you 25, 30 DraftKings points today. Um, there is a value pitcher I like that we'll talk about. So makes it pretty easy to fit Garrett Cole in. Uh, but just looking at the other guys on DraftKings, I don't think I'm going to be really going to Clevenger on DraftKings. He's just so closely priced to Cole. Only a $400 difference. I would just rather roster Garrett Cole. On Yahoo, there's an $8 difference between Cole and Clevenger, so I think that makes a little bit more sense if you need the savings to go down to Clevenger. But still, I would just try and find a way to get to Garrett Cole if I can. The one guy that I want to talk about on Yahoo that really stands out is Robbie Ray. Uh, he's only $44 on Yahoo in a matchup at home against Baltimore. On DraftKings, Robbie Ray is the third most expensive pitcher at $11,400. We're obviously not going to be able to play him with Cole, and or we're not able going to be going to be able to play him with Cole uh, since he's 11-4. That's just too much to pay a pitcher. But on Yahoo, you can find a lot of cheap hitters like in the seven to ten dollar range that give you good value. Uh, so I do like paying up with both of my pitchers today on Yahoo. I'm going to be going to Robbie Ray as an SP2 at $44. Uh, so this is obviously a great matchup for him pitching at home against the Orioles. This is an Orioles team that will strike out, has plenty of Ks in the lineup, uh, low total for the Orioles, just a 3.6 implied run total. They're going to be traveling to the National League, so they're going to lose their DH. They're going to have to put the pitcher in the lineup, which is pretty much a free strikeout. Uh, I think Robbie Ray gives you a ton of upside here. Definitely not as much upside as Garrett Cole, so on DraftKings, I would just rather play Garrett Cole for 1100 more. But on Yahoo, where you can play both guys together, or even if you want to play Robbie Ray as your SP1 on Yahoo, you could look to do that. But I feel like a lot of my builds on Yahoo today, I'm going to be really spending get pitcher and then trying to find some value bats. Uh, so I like going to Cole Ray on Yahoo. We'll talk about some value hitters that I like to fill with those guys. On DraftKings, there is a cheap guy that I really like I want to talk about. Uh, Von Nova is only 4800 and he's pitching at home against the Marlins. I think he is definitely in play here. Uh, Von Nova, obviously not a good pitcher, not a guy that we roster often, but he's just so cheap, and the matchup is just so good against the Marlins. This is a Marlins team that just doesn't have really any offensive firepower, not a lot of power in this lineup. You can get some strikeouts as well from the lineup, 
Uh, they only have two lefties in their projected lineup, and Nova is much worse versus lefties than righties. Uh, he's not really good versus either sides of the plate, but if he is better versus one side, it is right-handed hitters. Uh, the Marlins should have seven righties in their lineup, and there are definitely strikeouts in this lineup as well. Uh, pretty low total for the Marlins as well, 4.6 implied run total. Usually teams going up against Nova have at least like five, six totals pretty much every time he starts. Uh, Marlins not getting any respect from Vegas, which I wouldn't imagine they, or I wouldn't imagine that they would, uh, with how bad this lineup is. So I think Nova at 4,800 on DraftKings, he just gives you so much potential at this price tag. If he goes out there, goes out there and goes five innings with five strikeouts, maybe gives up two runs, picks up a win, and gets you 20 DraftKings points, that's a great value at 4,800. So really like going to Nova on DK on Yahoo. He's really cheap over here as well at $31, but I just don't think he's as necessary. Uh, I think you can just pay up a pitcher today on Yahoo and try and find value for hitters. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about some bats now since we pretty much went over the pitchers I like. Well, we'll go over some of the other guys I didn't talk about. So looking at the top guys, my favorite options are definitely Cole, number one. I would say factoring in salary, Robbie Ray, number two, and then Mike Clevenger, number three. Don't have much interest in Erod, uh, 10-9 on DraftKings, and where he's more expensive than Robbie Ray. I would just rather uh, rather roster Robbie Ray for a little bit more over Erod. Uh, Sonny Gray's in a really tough spot against Milwaukee. This is a, a pretty good Milwaukee lineup. Obviously a lot of power as well. Very good hitter's part. Tough spot for Sonny Gray. 4.8 total for the Brewers. If they run out their normal lineup with Kane, Yelich, Grindahl, Moustakis, Thames, uh, it's going to be hard to really roster Sonny Gray here. Even though he's a lot cheaper than some of the other guys, it's just a really dangerous spot. If he was a little bit cheaper, I might consider him because Sonny Gray is a very good pitcher, but tough matchup. I think I can look elsewhere on this slate. Uh, and then talking about these mid-range guys, I really don't have any interest in any of these mid-range hitters, or pitchers, excuse me. I guess the one guy I would consider would probably be Marco Gonzalez at home against the Rangers just because I really like that matchup. Left-handed pitchers against the Rangers away from Globe Life Park. Definitely something I like to target, but Gonzalez isn't very cheap. He's 7900 so really don't think you need to spend on him today. I think you can just – I think the way to go on DraftKings is to pay up for one of the 10K and above guys, whether it's Ray, Clevenger, or Cole, and then play one of these value pitchers. There's a couple guys you can consider, uh, obviously Nova. I don't think like a guy like Eric Fede getting the Rockies outside of Coors Field at 4500 you could consider him. Sean Anderson, tough matchup against the Cubs, but he's pitching at home in uh, Oracle Park, and we know how good that ballpark is for pitchers. So he's another guy you could potentially consider as a value pitcher. Even someone like Alec Mills at 6,900, Trevor Richards against the strikeout-prone White Sox team at 7K. I feel like I'm just going to be playing these guys for value and then spinning up for one of my other pitchers. Uh, but now let's go ahead and talk about some hitters since we pretty much covered all of the uh, pitchers that I'm going to today. Um, so there's a couple teams that stand out today for bats. I don't think there's really any clear team that you have to load up on. The highest total on the slate right now is the uh, Diamondbacks, excuse me, Diamondbacks with a 5.5 implied run total against Alec Mills. I believe that's the highest, or no, the Yankees 5.6 against Martin Perez. Those are the two highest totals on the slate right now. So really there's no team, like there's no course game, there's no team with like a 7 total that really stands out. So you can definitely look to multiple teams for your bats. One team I like is the Indians. Um, I do like Francisco uh, Francisco Lindor a lot on DraftKings, where he's only uh, 4,500. That does feel a little bit too cheap here facing Ryan Baruki, a lefty, pretty much a mediocre lefty, a lefty that's really just not that good, doesn't really have any good stuff. Lindor's in a really good spot here, leading off dirt cheap for what he should be. Lindor should not be 4,500 against a mediocre lefty like Baruki. He should definitely be 5K and above. The fact that a guy like Oscar Mercado is more expensive than Lindor just kind of baffles my mind. Uh, so I really like uh, Lindor's price on DraftKings. I think he really stands out as a good play. Uh, another guy that really stands out is J.D. Martinez. Uh, J.D. Martinez is a guy that I like on both sides. Uh, so on DraftKings, he's only 4100 which is just really, really low. And on Yahoo, he's also dirt cheap as well. Uh, he's only $16 on Yahoo. I really like that price over there. So right now, it, look, it looks like Jalen Beats is going to be pitching for the Rays, a lefty. Uh, Jalen Beeks is not a terrible pitcher, but he's not a guy that I would be afraid to stack against, especially with a really good Red Sox lineup that has just a ton of good righties that hit left-handed uh, pitchers well. If we look at the appearances that Beeks has made, he usually makes all his appearances uh, in long relief. He usually goes, like, after the opener, he'll, he'll go about four or five innings. Lately, in his long relief starts, or long relief appearances, he really hasn't been that great. 
against the Yankees through three innings. He gave up two hits, a home run. He was okay in that start, but against the Twins, I uh, uh, didn't do that well in that start. Wasn't able to get a ton of uh, Ks, only one K through three innings. Only allowed two hits, but did get give up two hits and three walks in those three innings. Against Oakland, through two innings, he allowed three hits and two runs, two home runs. Against the Angels, through three innings, he allowed four hits and two runs, only two strikeouts. He's not really a, he a heavy K guy. He doesn't get a ton of strikeouts. Now he's going to have to face a Red Sox team that doesn't strike out much, has a lot of good hitters in the lineup, a lot of righties that can hit left-handed pitching well, Mookie, Xander Bogarts, uh, J.D., Christian Vasquez, Michael Chavez. Really like these guys, really like J.D. at only 4100 That price tag just feels way too cheap facing a lefty, especially if this game was in uh, Fenway, the uh, Red Sox would probably be one of my favorite stacks. But the fact that it's in Tampa Bay, it does lessen my interest a bit, but I still have a ton of interest in J.D. where uh, he's so cheap. And then lastly on DraftKings, to fill out my DraftKings 5, a uh, guy that I really like in the outfield is Nelson Cruz. Uh, Nelly Cruz is only 4400 against a lefty in CC Sabathia. Uh, CC Sabathia in this spot is not a guy that I'm going to be afraid to stack against. I know Sabathia has been pretty good this year. He's been able to limit the damage. But this is a tough spot for him, having to go into Minnesota to face this really good Minnesota team. It has a ton of power that doesn't really strike out much. The top of this lineup is really dangerous with Mitch Garver, Polanco, Cruz, Rosario, Crone, Kepler. That's a really tough six to get through. And then the bottom of the order guys aren't easy outs either. Marlon Gonzalez, Miguel Sano, Jonathan Scope. Just a tough spot for Sabathia. I really like Cruz at 4,400 against a lefty. A lefty that will, uh, that will give up home, run to right, home runs to right-handed hitters. We obviously know Cruz has a lot of power against lefties, so... I think he's a really good play on DraftKings at just 4,400. Uh, so these are my DraftKings five. Going over to Yahoo, since we did pay up for Cole and Ray, it's going to be hard to put guys like Lindor in there and um, Nelson Cruz in there. So we're going to need to find some value. Um, at third base, a guy that really stands out here with given his price tag is Nolan Arenado. Uh, he's only $13 on Yahoo, which is just, which is just incre uh, incredibly low. Eric Fede, not a guy I'm afraid to take hitters against. I know the Rockies are outside of course Field, and they don't do very good outside of course, but still this is a spot where they can put up some runs here against Fede. I wouldn't mind playing some Fede on DraftKings because he's so cheap, but some of these hitters are fine plays, like Charlie Blackman, uh, Story. I really like The guys I really like, they were like Dahl at 4,400 on DK, Arenado at 4,400, Murphy at 4,300. Those guys are pretty cheap given the matchup against a mediocre pitcher like Fede. On Yahoo, where Nolan Arenado is only $13, he just really stands out as a great just point-per-dollar option. Looking for value. Uh, similar price, Mike Moustakis at $14 against Sonny Gray. Definitely a guy you can look to, but I do think Sonny Gray is a pretty good pitcher. I would much rather take a hitter against a guy like Eric Fede. So that's why I'm going to include Arenado in there at $13. Very cheap price tag. Um, and then the last guy I want to mention is a catcher. Usually don't put a catcher in my five plays, but Gary Sanchez really stands out on Yahoo where he's only... $12. Uh, that feels like one of the easiest plays of the day. Uh, so Sanchez is going to be facing Martin Perez. The Yankees going to be getting Martin Perez here. This is a really tough spot for Perez. He's been much better this year, but not a spot where I think he's going to have much success against this really dangerous Yankees lineup that has so many righties that can just match left-handed pitching. Uh, LeMahieu, Judge, Sanchez, Encarnacion, Hicks, Voigt, Torres. Really tough spot for Perez. Uh, really like Gary Sanchez on Yahoo where he's just 12 bucks. On DraftKings, it's a little bit tougher to fit him in at 4500 That's a much better price tag. On um, Yahoo, there were, he's like the 10th most expensive catcher. Honestly, I think he's like he's like the 16th most expensive catcher, which is just stupid. Love Gary Sanchez on Yahoo at $12. Bucks. Uh, but yeah, these are my five Yahoo plays for today. Now let's go ahead and talk about some stacks real quick. Then we'll look to some BVP plays before we end the video. Um, so I would say my favorite stack, it's going to be close between two teams. Definitely going to be close between the Indians and the Yankees, I would say. Just really like the Indians given their pricing. Uh, no hitter over 5K. I think they can definitely put up runs here versus Ryan Baruki. So I do like some Indians bats. Uh, I mentioned some of the value you get from the Rockies. Wouldn't mind going to them versus Eric Fede. Uh, obviously some Red Sox hitters, specifically a guy like JD at only 4,100 really stands out. The Yankees pretty much can stack them every slate, especially against a guy like Martin Perez. 5.6 total. Don't really need to tell you to stack the Yankees. Uh, and then in this late night game, I do like the Diamondbacks with a 5.5 implied run total against Aaron Brooks. Uh, the Diamondbacks are definitely a team that I'm going to be looking to. Um, but I think that's it for stacks. Let's go ahead 
and talk about some BVP real quick before we end the video. So just going to hit on a couple of BVP plays that really stand out. So uh, Paul DeYoung gone 6 for 16 with a home run off of Trevor Williams. Jose Peraza 4 for 12 with a home run off Chase Anderson. Uh, Eugenio Suarez only has four hits and 21 ABs against Chase Anderson, but three of his four hits were uh, home runs. And then lastly, down here towards the bottom, Joey Gallo has gone 5 for 15 with two home runs off of Marco Gonzalez. Uh, so that's all I got for BVP today, guys. I think that it's it for the video. Um, hopefully you did enjoy this video, and hopefully it did help you. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you click that like button down below, and make sure you subscribe if you have not already. And if you do have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below, or like always, you can hit me up on Twitter at the DFS underscore GOAT if you do have any questions. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed, and we will see you in the next one. Good luck tonight, guys. Peace.